Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of my new podcast, Truth and Fantasy. If you don't know me, my name is Sam, Uh, I go by Sammy Quinn online, and I've been creating YouTube videos and just various forms of online content for a few years now, and this is kind of the next direction I want to move in. Um... Today I kind of just wanted to introduce myself in this podcast and talk through my intentions for it and what you can expect in the upcoming episodes. So my intention in everything I create these days is to create a space to kind of help guide young adults through their internal worlds and just help people feel more comfortable with internal feelings and um, kind of self-dialogue, just what is going on within the self. And the reason I do this is because I know how painful and isolating it can feel when you are alone in these feelings. And oftentimes we don't have people in our lives that we feel like we can talk to about what's going on inside or people who are willing to really empathize and understand and these feelings and thoughts kind of get trapped within us and it starts to feel like we are the only ones on the planet that are experiencing these painful patterns of existing within the world but it's so human and something we will all experience for the rest of our lives um these kind of sticky inner dialogues and um, feelings and patterns that stem from our childhood conditioning. Um, It's normal to experience pain and to experience internal um, processes that kind of almost close in on you and block you from experiencing everything that this outer reality um, has to offer. So growing up, I experienced a lot of emotional turmoil and pain and um, intense feelings of shame and emotional abandonment, um, which followed me into my adulthood. And, you know, I'm only 22, but into my kind of blossoming adulthood adulthood and I'm just now beginning to kind of shift from that childhood consciousness and hurt and wounds into a more adult um, healing based mindset Um, and I'm just now able to kind of shift out of these old patterns so since I'm kind of in the thick of it I'm actually doing this work now and this is work that will be done through all of life. Um, I thought it would be cool to kind of help others through this journey as well. I'm also a psych major. I love learning about psychology and philosophy and different theories of human existence and (laughs) why we are the way we are. So that will be incorporated a lot into this podcast. I'm also just deeply fascinated with people's internal worlds and That's kind of all I ever want to talk about in life. Um, Luckily, I have friends who are open to talk about that as well with me. But the reason the podcast is called Truth and Fantasy is because there's so much that goes on within this internal realm. And the concept of truth is something very kind of transient and subjective. I don't think there's a such thing as an objective, this is it, um, (laughs) like pinpointed truth and reality. Um, It's something that's experienced within you and you can only dig into your truth by doing this inner work and you can only find what it means to you to be authentic by kind of like moving through the fantasy and moving through the illusion of the self you have created because of childhood wounds, whether it mean, whether that means um, you experienced a lot of emotional abandonment through your childhood and now you believe 
you aren't worthy of stable, committed love, and that's like a belief that you have kind of um, made into the truth. And there's so many of these illusions that float around us, specifically from our childhood conditioning and experiences. Um, and when we were kids, we didn't have the ability to perceive what was real and what was not real. And any feelings that we felt were just so all encompassing that we couldn't be like, oh, that's not real. This is just an experience I'm having because of this external experience. And we really took in those feelings as there must be something wrong with me. This is the truth. Um, and I think that's where a lot of our problems into adulthood come from as well and it's really beautiful to be able to do this work at such a young age and just start questioning like why do I believe this about myself where does this come from how can I begin to untangle this and really get to the core of my own truth and kind of move through these illusions if that makes sense so those are kind of the intentions with this podcast I want to help you untangle the relationship between your internal world and external world because I truly believe that the external has so much to say symbolically Um, if you're feeling blocked and like unable to move in one area of your external existence there's something going on within you that isn't allowing you to move in the way that you ideally would want to Um, and it all starts within it's all an inner journey and from there things start start to happen and manifest externally so we're definitely going to be talking a lot about childhood going back into your childhood questioning things questioning where feelings come from um, and getting to the root so we can then begin to untangle and undo from there so the way this podcast is going to be set up is each week I am going to ask for input from my lovely followers over on Instagram. Um, If you're listening to this podcast, definitely make sure you are following me over on Instagram as well, sammy.quinn, because each week I am going to ask for your guys' input um, into what (laughs) the topic of the podcast will be. So I'm going to ask for internal feelings or experiences that you feel completely alone in um something that you kind of can't even imagine that anyone else could relate to like it feels like it's just you going through this experience and it maybe it feels very isolating and um you just maybe feel misunderstood through it as well and hopefully you can be as specific as possible Um, without kind of overstepping any boundaries of your own, of course. But yeah, I want to get into specifics and really be able to dig deep throughout each episode. And once I've sifted through the various submissions each week, I will choose one that I think would be good to talk about and I'll reach out to you. And depending on if you're down for it or not, I would love to set up a little Skype call Um, You don't have to have your face in it if you don't want to. It can still be completely anonymous. um, Or you could say your first name and it can be a video call um, if you're open to that. But just so I can get a little bit of more personal input into what you're going through and what exactly you want to explore within the episode. um, And just to like give it a little bit of a personal touch. I feel like it's nice to hear the person's voice behind the submission. Um, So I'll reach out to you and we will set that up via Instagram. Um, But if you really want to submit something that you're going through to be talked on um, during the show and you don't feel comfortable calling in, that's okay. Um, We can work around that. But that is what truth and fantasy is going to entail. I'm sure some episodes will be random and won't have that exact setup um, and maybe we'll go in different directions as the podcast grows and evolves but I'm really excited about this and I hope you're excited too. Again make sure you're following me on Instagram sammy.quinn and you can ask me any questions you have about the podcast over there. So Thank you guys for listening, and I will talk to you in episode two, (laughs) our first real explorative episode, and I'm really excited. All right, peace out.